how do I enter uh, when a customer pays with part cash and part by credit card? So if you go to re receive payment, the screen will give you this bank account, but it won't give you uh, uh, multiple selection of payment method. So you can't use this form. So uh, you have to rely on using sales receipt form. So this is where we're going to modify it and into sales. Okay, let's get started how uh, we can use this form. Uh, first of all, you need to go to products and services and you will need to set up uh, what's a payment method here. So, you know, to go to products and services, from here, in the company gear, you select products and services, right here, products and services, and I've already set up uh, new items for uh, a bunch of payments here. Let's start with the first one here. The first one, I just called it payment method. So this is the, uh, the top one, the payment method. And uh, income account, although it's not income, so I'm mapping it to undeposited funds account. So I'm gonna map everything to undeposited funds account. Uh, let's look at the cash. So I have cash account. So someone paid you by cash, and uh, we got to figure out how to book cash. And I made this subcategory of payment measure and income account still mapping to undeposited funds. So I've done that for all cash, check, credit card, debit card. Anything you can remember, you know, you could add American Express, a Discover card, whatever. But everything going to undeposited funds account. And from there, we'll deposit to the bank account. So if you look at credit card, it's the same thing. Name of the item is credit card. And income account, mapping to undeposit funds, and the subcategory is the payment measure, which is this. All right. So let's go back to sales to see, see how we can do it. And I've already done one. Let's just look at the one I did here. All right. So is it daily sales? I just call it daily sales, or you could use any customer you have. Uh, and here's your sales, first be the sales and services. Let's, so, let's say the, the uh, invoice sales amount is $1,000 and you got uh, paid cash $250, check another $250, credit card payment another $250, debit card also another $250. As you can see here, it's negative amount. So you enter a negative amount, negative amount here, payment all the payments are negative here. Payments negative, here's payments negative. And then you can select the service uh, class here. Uh, and the important one is this one here. Uh, you will need to open one uh, clearing account. It's just, a, it'll be just a zero amount, so you won't see any amount there. But uh, you don't want to select undeposited funds account here because these all, all these four going to the same account. Um, it makes no difference, but uh, just to make it clean break, I just want to create a clearing account and you don't have to worry about this account. All you see is zero amount. Okay, as you can see here, the da daily sales is a billing address. Could be just any customer and your sales date. And you can ignore all this uh, and go sales. And as you can see here, the the total amount received is zero, although the sales is $1,000. In here, you don't see any amount because you have distributed all the payments this way, right here. Okay, so now, 
since we have uh, transferred everything to undeposited accounts, so you want to deposit all these payments to the bank account now. So the next step is go to your deposit account. So deposit account, you basically go from from here, bank deposit, create plus sign and bank deposit here. So right here, as you can see here, so you have all these uh, payments, total $1,000 sitting in here. So at this point, you gotta decide how you're gonna transfer to the bank account. Let's say you went to the bank and wrote one deposit slip, $250 cash and $250 check. So you deposited $500 in one deposit slip. That's one scenario. The other scenario is you do maintain some cash account in your company and you just want to transfer this 250 to your cash account. So you're going to have a cash account here. So I have a cash account right here. So you select 250 to your cash account. So it's basically you're building your cash account. So I have you'll be adding $200 more to this balance. So in this case, let's just say you went to the bank and deposited $500. Here's your deposit slip for $500, and that's all you did. So save and new. Okay, now you have uh, uh, two deposits left, and uh, most likely you will get this deposit through your merchant service, let's say both came in at the same time and when you looked at your bank account you saw five hundred dollars. So in one deposit total you, you saw five hundred dollars. So she looked at these two and made a deposit. So now you can save and close. Done. So now if you go to your PL, you see $1,000, so that's your total income, and everything was good. So basically, that's how you have to uh, do the create sales to see to, uh, uh, to book uh, multiple payments. So that's, that's about it. Thanks for watching.